Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aquarium Project YouTube channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I, of course, very much appreciate it and I love you all so, so much. If you haven't already, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe, smash the bell icon, subscribe to the podcast. Um, I'm sure there's other things, you know the drill. Um, apparently I'm supposed to remind you though. It's what the uh, articles I've read tell me. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I didn't really have anything uh, too exciting to report. Nothing too crazy has been going on here at the Aquarium Project. I have been, yeah, basically just talking to you lovely people, giving you some fish. Um, yeah, that's about it really. But the main thing, I, I, had a, I had a topic in mind for what I wanted to talk about today. Um, and so what I wanted to be talking about today is... I guess more of a mindset kind of thing in terms of the way we think think about our water changes and stuff. Um, so for me, I notice a lot of the time that when we're talking about our water changes and that, it's always very much framed as a bad thing, we hate it, no one likes it, all this kind of thing. And I think that does sort of cause some contentions and we know water changes are good like uh, for keeping the tank healthy and that. Water changes are the best method to keeping a healthy aquarium. But it's like, the work is kind of like, oh, I hate it, you know. And I noticed that um, potentially, uh, pretty heavily in a video I did the other day about tall aquariums especially, and also how aquarium stands are too short. What I noticed is that a lot of people were, well, a lot of the kind of comments were going off the assumption that like maintenance is bad, and it's like, Oh, it's harder to reach into the bottom of the aquarium. It's harder to, um, you know, you have to have a, a stool or a step ladder or something to be able to actually get into the aquarium and do your stuff. And I found that really interesting. I'm not going to lie, because for me, at least the way this is obviously, of course, just all all about how I think about aquariums. So like, maybe I'm the only one in the world who thinks like this. But I thought we'd talk about it. Um, but for me, having a really cool badass aquarium, like um, having the, you know, a really tall one, for example, but it, it, or having this tank that's massively overstocked and I have to do big water changes all the time, is worth it for me to do that extra work. And I think that's something that we don't really talk about is like the kind of default setting, I guess, is all right. So I do little work. I don't want to do water changes. I don't want to do cleaning and stuff. So how cool of an aquarium can I have with those parameters? Where I think, not for all situations, but for a lot of situations, it's like maybe we could look at it the other way around and like, I want a really badass aquarium, this is what I want. How do I get to achieve that? So like, you know, how many water changes do I have to do? How, you know, do I need to get on a ladder to clean it, whatever. And I think that's something that we really don't think about um, in the hobby and I think it's well worth it. I've talked about it before, but I've had my own uh, mental health struggles in, you know, the past. Um, and they, st I mean, they still go on. Different, of course, but, you know, still go on. Everyone does. Um, but for me, I find actually aquarium maintenance is actually one of my favorite parts about having an aquarium. Like, obviously, I like looking at them. I like the cool fish. I like their behaviors, like feeding them, all this kind of thing. But I actually do really like aquarium maintenance. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, for me, it's like really mindful, peaceful time. What I can do is like, I can just like sit up like, right, I gotta, you know, clean this tank. And so what I do is I get my headphones, these headphones even, and um, chuck it on like a podcast. It, like for me, it's usually baseball podcast, cricket podcast, comedy podcast, um, stuff like that. You know, can be whatever, can be fish podcast. I know. Hearing from a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys listen to our podcast when you're doing your um, water changes and stuff, but you know, whatever, you can have the TV on in the background, be watching a sports game, um, listen to some music, have a coffee with you, you know, whatever you want to do, however that resonates for you. And I find it really mindful and uh, I get into kind of a meditative state. For me, it's not, you know, for, for everyone, it doesn't have to be this meditation kind of state can be whatever maybe you know have have your kids around get, get them you know clean the glass or something get them all involved whatever but having this really kind of mindful peaceful time is actually one of my favorite parts so for me 
doing extra cleaning, if anything, is a good thing. Having to do it more frequently is a good thing because it's like more of an opportunity for me to get into the state. But for you, it might be, you know, oh, I love listening to this one podcast every day. So, like, I can do my water changes while I do that. It gives me an opportunity to listen, um, you know, have quiet time and all that. So, I really do think that reframing water changes and aquarium maintenance as actually a good thing will really allow a lot of people to get a lot more out of the hobby. Um, I know it isn't, you know, the same for everyone necessarily. Everyone's got their own different things, but... A lot of people really do enjoy it, and I think it really is something that we do need to kind of think about, I guess. Um, it really does, it can take whatever form you like, and don't be scared about doing the water changes. If you know, you know, I can do, like, so for me, obviously I'm in the shop every day, so like, I can spend my time doing it, and so for this tank, I'm like, I know I can do 80% three times a week, plus a filter clean with no trouble at all. It's not gonna be a problem. So that allows me the confidence to be able to add more fish than I would at home, have more, you know, feed more more heavily, um, maybe do some stuff that causes more mess, like have, have a brighter light than I normally would, all this kind of thing. And yes, it is a bit annoying if I have to clean down the bottom of the tank, like um, with, a, with a scrubby thing to clean the glass or whatever. But for me, it's worth it to be able to have such a cool aquarium. And I think a lot of people don't really think about it like that. And I mean, that's fine. If you think about it and you decide that's not for me, of course, that's completely your, your, whoops, your life. You can do whatever you want. But for a lot of people, I think we don't even really think about it. And I think that really is a shame. Um, I think it is something, at least food for thought. Um, and think about how we can make water changes work for us. So, like, thinking about how do I fit it into what my life already looks like. So, for me, like what I said before, is, you know, being um, more mindful, uh, meditative time for me. Some people set a tank to drain and fill while they're cooking dinner. Might want to get your kids involved so you can uh, spend time with your family while you do it. And it can be like a family activity. Um, I mean, I'm not going to keep going because, like, there's endless ways it can fit into your life. But instead of having to be an obstacle of like that's just another chore I've got to do you can reframe it into something that's like a positive and something you can do maybe as well as something else or to add to your life and of course then you've also got like the looking at the fish the feeding the fish the like um, you know learning all about their different uh, you know information about them and like whatever that's fine that's one part but then adding on to it as well um, so yeah, that's kind of just what I wanted to talk about today is like, maybe, oh, I think a lot of us in the industry and in the hobby, if we reframe our maintenance in our own heads, I think we'll get a lot more out of, out of keeping aquariums. Cause like at the end of the day, that's what we all love. We want to maximize how cool they are, how much fun they are and allow them as big a part in our lives as we can. Um, Cause obviously they are very cool and I'm, not that I'm biased, but aquariums, very cool. You should get one. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I would be really interested to see kind of how you guys do it. How do you guys fit your maintenance in around your lives? What methods do you have? Is it a meditative state for you? Is it a family time thing? Is it, uh, you know, I watch the news while I do it, whatever. Um, I'd just really be interested to hear about it because it doesn't have to look the same for everyone. It can look however it needs to look or you want it to look for your life. So yeah, that's all I really had. Um, I'd just like to say thank you guys very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. I love you all. Bye.